Hey, John, this is John Finn from BeamHQ.com. Uh, this is where we're going to pick up where we left off, which was making lowered and raised uh, floors, as well as replacing monsters and item pickups. In uh, this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to work on adding a door, as well as a window that allows you to look into another room. Uh, I'm using the map that we made in the first tutorial as a basis for this one, and we'll continue to do so uh, for most of the tutorial process. Uh, first, we're going to make the door, so we're going to go into line depth mode, and the average door is uh, 128 pixels in zoom. So that's what we're going to make here. Once we have our door, we're going to make our actual room. Now, you don't need to select these individual vertices uh, when you're passing through. They will automatically stitch you in when you pass over them. There's some of the things. Uh, I'm just going to create a second one here. I have a window. And connect the two together. Like so. Okay. Now, the only thing here is uh, you notice these little nubs on the line desk. Uh, you, you typically want them to be facing into the room, especially anything that needs to be activated, um, like a switch or a door. Um, the front, the nub represents the front of the, the line deck, and so typically you always want it to be inside the room facing the stairwell one possible so they can actually activate the line deck. Um, once we've got it, uh, you'll press F, and then uh, it'll flip it once you have it selected. With that done, we're going to go to sector mode by hitting F. You select the door sector and give it a tag of one. Okay, with that done, we're going to go back into line depth mode. We're going to select our two sides and we're going to give them a, uh, we're going to set them as low run peg, which tells the game to draw the textures from the floor to the ceiling, as well as it keeps the texture from scrolling when the door is open and closed. Without it being set, uh, when the door opens and closed, the, the texture will scroll along with the door. Set the size to four track. Okay, we got that. Um, now we're going to select the store side desk line desk itself. And we're going to assign the upper texture a door. And we're going to set it back. In this case, we're using door and we're going to use door raise. We're going to set the texture sector to one. So it links up with this uh, door section that we made. Um, movement speed of 10 is pretty good, and 50 is pretty long for a closed delay. Um, the light tag doesn't need to be changed. Um, that'll be fine where it is. We're going to set the action to repeatable, so the door can be opened many times. And we're going to set it to when the player press U. Okay, with that done, we're going to go into 3D mode now. And selection. we're going to select the door here and scroll it all the way down to the floor. So with that done, you can hit C to clear the selection. And we're going to select the floor and raise it a little. Then we're going to select the ceiling and lower it. Okay, now select all four wall sides so we can set its textures. I guess you wouldn't really need to set the textures for the inside of the room, um, because it's not likely that anybody would go in there. But just from a purely design aesthetic, it's better to have you Case is covered, just in case. Okay, now with that done, let's go ahead and watch it and see what she looks like. And that's all there is to it. Um, come back next time uh, for.